how's everyone? I hope y'all are all having a, a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Um, today I wanted to share with y'all some great things that I found at Dollar Tree this week. I'm actually kind of surprised at all of the good stuff um, that I've been finding lately with everything going on. I know that they are just, you know, struggling to even just keep the normal things stocked on the shelves. So I don't know. I've been pleasantly surprised and, you know, about all that we can do right now is go to the grocery store and Dollar Tree. So I am really happy about that. And I just wanted to share it all with y'all. So we will just jump right in. These first um, things are candles, which I feel like I find candles every single week. But I just thought that these were so pretty, especially for a dollar. Look at the shape of these. Isn't that so pretty? And they have this really pretty pink color. They also had white. And then they also had this green, so I, I mean gray. They had one of each, and I just thought that these would be so pretty together. So I'm gonna set them on something. You could even put them, um, I don't have any holders right here, but you could put them in a vot votive holder or something like that. But I just kind of think that they are so pretty by themselves. And then they also had, I believe it was kind of like a baby blue shade not 100% sure on this shape because they did have so many new candles. But anyways, I just thought that these were so pretty and I was really happy to find those. Um, let's see, what other, okay, the other home decor items I found were these really pretty little trays and they just had gold and white. They're both exactly the same, just different color, but they're just really pretty trays. I mean, whew, that one almost didn't make it through. Um, and here is white right here. So I don't know. I just thought that they were really pretty. I'm sorry if there's a glare. I have my big light right here, but it is storming outside and it's supposed, you know, on your phone, the little weather thing that shows like 10 days or whatever. Ours have rain clouds every day. So not only are we stuck at home, we're also stuck in kind of gloomy, you know, weather. So if there's a glare, it's because I'm having to use this light really bright because I don't have any outside light today. So anyways, I just thought that these were really pretty, really nice looking that you could just kind of stick anywhere. You could use them for your jewelry, your chains, you know, whatever. So, okay, there's those. And then I also found these two really cute little pictures. And this first one just has little cactus on it and our little succulents and it says free hugs. And then it has these little pom-poms all around the edge. I thought that was so cute. And then I also grabbed this one that says relax. It's just a phase and it has all the phases of the moon. And then of course, pom-poms as well. But my daughter um, loves everything kind of moon and stars. And so I thought that she would think that was really cute. And she also loves succulents. So I'm gonna give both of these to her. I do think that they had um, a couple other designs though. So. Um, that weren't so, you know, these are more for like younger. I think they had some maybe that said bless this nest or something along those lines. But I just thought they were really cute with the little pom-poms. And then these I have been looking for for quite a while and I finally found them. Well, I found two of them. Um, this is the little llama planter and she says, hello, my name is Uma. Look how cute she is. I mean, for a dollar, you just cannot beat that. So cute. So I grabbed that one. And then I also was able to find, this one is the little hedgehog, and his name is Hudson. Look at him. And it shows you right here on the side, there are four different variations. So the fox and the turtle, I haven't been able to find. And if I do find those, I will want those as well, because I think those are so cute too. So, okay. I think that's all the home decor stuff I found. I found um, a lot more beauty stuff this week, which I mean, I'm telling you, it, it I have just really been finding a lot and I'm really happy about that. Um, okay, so this first bag is from Spa Savvy and this is 25 cosmetic sponges. And I just think that is such a great deal. I mean, they actually have two, let's see, okay, they have a full size beauty blender and then they also have some thicker wedges. And then all of these sponges, I thought that, that was a great deal. And you know, you can throw them away once they get gross. This is 25 for a dollar, it's no big deal. You can also use these to paint. I use stuff like this for painting all the time. It's really great because it doesn't leave any streaks or anything. So depending on the surface, sometimes these types of things are the perfect fix. So 
I actually grabbed a couple bags of those. And I found a lot of new sheet masks again this week, and I didn't even buy every kind of, okay, this one is, okay, these are from Spa, um, April Bath and Shower, and then these four are from Bolero. So this one is a sprinkles face mask, super cute. So it's going to have these sprinkles on there. And this one is a mermaid face mask, so cute. And this one, these are the four from Bolero. This is a refreshing cosmic facial mask. This is made with cucumber seed extract for a boost of skin nourishment. This one. And this is a strawberry seed extract. And this one is calming. And then there is this pineapple one that is clarifying. And then this one, which I thought looked really interesting, but it could just be because of the packaging, says Radiance Boosting Golden Dust Paper Facial Mask. It says, get that golden glow. So I thought that looks really cool. I'm gonna try a couple myself. I'm gonna give a couple to my niece. Whenever I go and see her, you know, we're in the hotel together. We always, you know, put on our sheet mask and, you know, just kind of have fun. So I thought those would be some really cutesy ones to do with her and, you know, to pass a couple to her as well. I also found this lotion. This is from um, April Bath and Shower as well. This is aromatherapy in Relax and the scent is Refreshing Mint Eucalyptus. And this is 10 ounces and this is such a pretty bottle. Um, I know Bath and Body Works has a line that looks um, pretty similar to this, I believe. And um, I really like how this smells. It smells really good. They also had one in a really pretty blue kind of purple bottle and that one was lavender. Um, I'm just not real huge on lavender, so I just grabbed this mint eucalyptus, but it does smell really good. And in the lavender, they did also have a body wash, but they, I didn't see a body wash in this scent. So I just got the lotion. And then I found this, um, I found some more hard candy makeup and this is the 874 dark chocolate, um, precision tip eyeliner. It's a gel eyeliner and it also has a sharpener on this end, which is perfect for me because that's pretty much all that I wear, some sort of copper or dark brown or something like that. So I actually bought three of these because that is a great deal for a dollar, especially that it has the sharpener right, right into it. So I was really happy and that's the only shade that I saw in those was dark chocolate. Um, okay, also from Hard Candy, I found this, okay, it's Fox in a Box and it is actually peach scented and it is called Uptown Girl and it is, I guess you could say maybe highlighter slash blush. It is very shimmery and sparkly and it has a little scratch and sniff thingy here and I mean, it really smells like peach but it is a really pinky, it has some purple streaks in there. And if you can see, look at the box. I love the box. It's kind of like the um, Benefit Cosmetics that, you know, their bronzers and blushes comes in containers like this. So it actually has a little flip top lid and then it has a little brush right here that you can lay right on top. And I love that type of packaging. I don't want to open this because I am going to give this to my niece. She's very light skinned and I think that this would just be really beautiful on her and i'm just not real big into shimmery blushes but i think this would be really pretty on her so i'm going to save that for her and look at the top of the lid as well i mean i just love the packaging so and again they had a ton of these but this was the only shade that i saw okay then i found these lip balms this is salt range Him himalayan pink salt lip balm and um, it says it's cherry and shea butter. So I thought those looked really interesting and wanted to try those. And the last beauty item is from LA Colors and this is a plump gloss. And I bought the shade Pinker. I thought it looked really pretty, kind of a metallic pink that you might be able to put, you know, on top of another color. And they did have three other shades, but they got pretty dark. There was a metallic purple, one that looked really copper, and then one more on the kind of reddish side, but I thought that I would actually use this one. So I just grabbed that one. What else? Okay, I also found a lot of toys this week, um, which if I, if I find toys that I think is a great deal, I always buy them, even if I don't have someone right at that moment to give them to. 
Last year, I just kind of let everything build up that I hadn't given as gifts. And then I donated around Christmas time. You know, they're brand new toys. And just because you spent a dollar on them doesn't mean, you know, someone wouldn't really appreciate getting them. And a lot of times, you know, these are not dollar toys. So especially like these two, these Star Wars, these are from Hasbro. And I mean, I just didn't think you could beat this for a dollar. So I grabbed the Stormtrooper. And I mean, they have six or seven characters. They all do different things. He um, has breakaway armor. So it comes with these little pieces that you can attach to him. And then I also bought Darth Vader, of course, and he has his lightsaber. And it also says he has projectile firing. So he has some sort of gun contraption, something or other right here. And my youngest nephew loves Star Wars. So these I definitely got for him, I thought he would really like those. And then these two things I wanna open because I just thought they looked so cute. So these are mini boos and there was a series two and a series three and then they have all little pictures on the back. And then I don't know if this is the same thing, but this says series one, but it says erasers. And I bought a few of these and I really, um, I really want to see what it looks like. So we're going to open it just really quickly. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So it's a little dog and you can, oh, I dropped a little piece. You can put him together as, so here's your little hot dog bun and you can stick him in there. And then you have a little tomato slice. You can put him there or put that there. Here's some lettuce, put that there. And then I think this is supposed to be like, maybe like some chili or something. And then you can put that on top. And then you have this little squiggly piece also that I guess would look like mustard or ketchup. Look at that. It's a little eraser. I just had to, had to see it. But like I said, I grabbed a few packs. Um, and I think that they're all supposed to be different. It shows a lot of different pictures um on the back it is so cute so i guess we got biscuit right here so cute oh there's riley say hi <laughs> so okay i got that and then like i said these two and i want to open i'm just gonna open one of these but i was just dying to see what these little creatures in here look like they just look so cute on the picture Let's see if i cut that open Oh my goodness. And these are from the, I don't know if you say Ty or TY, but I think that's the same as like all the Beanie Babies. So I, I'm sure at other places, these are not just a dollar. But look at her. That is just so darn cute. And I really want to open the other one, but I'm not going to. So we got Muffin. And there are four in each. Look at that little seal. Oh, I want all of them. That is so cute. And they had a ton of these also. Okay, the only other um, toys that I bought are these two bubbly animals, and these things are huge. I'm not exactly sure what he's supposed to be. Maybe some sort of little baby dragon because he has some little wings right here, but they have those Orbeez balls on the inside. Both my nephews love these. I have bought them the fruit ones in the past. They love them. Last time, they busted one all over the place. Um, but here is this one too. It looks like a little crocodile, but I mean, these things are huge. Sometimes you get on and they're this small, you know? So I thought that was really cool. And again, they had a ton of these and a ton of different designs. They even had a really cute little cat, but anyways. Okay. Now some food items that I found this week are, I found this cereal from Fiber One or from General Mills. This is the Fiber One with real honey. And it's just your standard size box of cereal. Uh, my boyfriend loves cereal like that. So I got that for him. They also had some Sour Patch Kids cereal, but um, that I definitely left at the store because I didn't think I would like that at all, but they did have the big boxes of it. And last week I found the goldfish nacho tortilla crackers. Um, and they are, it's the epic crunch, but this week I found the ranch. So I really want to try this. I think I'll probably like this better. And they are pretty hard. They are really, really crunchy. 
but I do like them. So I really wanted to try the ranch. I also found these candies. These are from Zachary and they are mini caramels, bite-sized caramels drenched in rich milk chocolate. So I thought those looked delicious. And then I found these pasta sides from Kraft and this is a creamy Alfredo penny, Pinne, it comes with a cheesy garlic and herb seasoning and your cheesy sauce. So I thought that was really, really great. Um, it is pretty high in calories and fat and all that good stuff, but I guess if you just had, you know, a little small portion, it would be all right. And this is the only flavor that they had was the Alfredo. And then I found these Morello cherries, which I thought looked really delicious. I love cherries and these are like the good ones that you can put on top of like cheesecake and stuff like that. So I'll probably just eat these right out of the jar or they're even really good like on salads. So I grabbed a couple jars of those. And then I also found this seasoning from Longhorn Steakhouse. This is just their grill seasoning. It says this is what they use in house. So I thought that my boyfriend would really love that. He cooks out all the time and okay. Just a couple more things. Oh, and in those seasonings, they also did have from Red Lobster a seafood seasoning. I don't like any seafood, so I didn't get that. And then they also had from Badia um, Sriracha Salt. So, and I kind of wish I had gotten it, but I didn't. If they still have it next week, I probably will grab it. Okay, a couple more things. I found these really cute ribbons. Um, I mean, just so cute. You can't beat these. Really pretty lime green. And she has a little, you know, kind of like a flower um, halo or I don't know what you want to call it. She has flowers on her. I thought that was really cute. These are nine feet. And then I just really liked this. It kind of looks like galaxy. I don't know. I just thought it was perfect. Springtime colors, Easter colors. Um, so I will find something to do with that. And then this one is my favorite. Has these little tiny pom-poms at the bottom and then just this different color ribbon all on the top. I thought that was really cute. Definitely, you know, these are things that you would find at Hobby Lobby, but not for a dollar. So I thought those were really cute. And last but not least, I bought this really pretty pot because again, for a dollar, you cannot beat that in this size. I actually really love the color. I'm gonna leave it the way that it is. I have a ton of lilies coming up that I'm going to have to transfer some to a new pot. And this is just a great size. So I grabbed that. And then I also grabbed three of these really pretty uh, flower pinwheels. I grabbed these three colors. I already had one in the blue that I've had outside. I can't remember if I got it last year or the year before. I think they have these pretty much every year, but it's so pretty. It has not faded at all. And so I went ahead and grabbed these three more. And I have kind of like a bare area in one corner up front by my garage. And so I think I'm just gonna kind of stick them, but like at all different heights, just a cluster of the four right there. And I just thought it would be really pretty because they're so bright. So, you know, just an inexpensive way to add some great color to something and something you don't have to water, you know? So I don't have to worry about because we're having rain for two weeks straight. So anyways, that is all for this week's Dollar Tree haul. I think that I found a lot of great stuff this week. Um, I'm really excited to, try like that uh, craft this penny. I think it looks really good and I've got nothing but time to cook it right now. So we'll probably try that and um, you know, maybe put some cute little plants in these this weekend or something, you know, just anything to keep busy right now. So anyways, like I said, I really hope that y'all enjoyed. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and please subscribe. And I really hope that y'all are all staying healthy and happy and safe and, um, yeah, we'll see you in the next Dollar Tree haul. Bye.